Well, for yeah. those don't, that don't know, Jesse was the true creator of Shots of Sunset. Yes. So He's the true, the visionary, the guy that had the idea, the guy that put it. For RSP. Yeah, the guy, well, how how that all come about? Um, so yeah, I was working in television development. Um, I was with another company at the time and, um, Ryan Seacrest Productions. How called, old are you? How old was I? Yeah. I was, I this was 2000. I, I didn't think we talk about age. This is like, like the age. I don't really, honestly, I don't really talk about age. <laughs> yeah. I'm just wondering like in your career He's young. landscape, how, He's young. how long was I, how, how, how He's early a baby. did you have? The I, was was like, a baby. I was like, I was like five years into my career. I was like five years in. Got like, it. Five years before that, I was PA. Got it. You know, then I was production coordinating, then production managing, then doing all this development work. Got it. Developing reality shows and non scripted shows and game shows and music shows. Okay. And um, what does that look like? That is a lot of deck writing <laughs> and a lot at the time, a lot of sizzle reels. Okay. Um, sizzle reels is how you sold and how you sell a TV show. It is you put characters on tape and you show their personality and you show it to network executives who uh, say, yeah, that looks like an interesting cast of people. Let's do here's money for a pilot. Let's do a TV show. And then the pilot goes and you're like, "Okay, that's actually good. That's fun. Let's do a first season. And there's eight episodes and here's money for eight episodes. And then how that do. And then you're like, "Okay, let's party. That's that's how (laughs) all shots worked out. I mean. Yeah, kind of. Shaw's worked out like this. Um, there was a development team at Ryan Seacrest Productions. Okay. Ryan was just got, or, you know, the Kardashians were going, okay. but his company, Ryan Seacrest, wasn't producing it. Like, it wasn't, it was a different production company pro- actually physically producing the show. Okay. Um, Buna Murray, Murray, who does real world and Rose. So, like, yeah. Ryan at the time was just, you know, he, he was a big host of the number one show on the, in America, which is American Idol and the radio show. Mm-hmm. And he wanted to start a production company. And so, but they gave the actual production of the Kardashians to the, the work, like people yeah. in the, the, the field. people f- shooting it and making and it and everything. having an editing base and everything it takes to produce a show. They did. They did. When I was, because again, Jamie was on Chloe and Lamar. Like, yeah. I worked with. I, I know that was all Bonham. B- not, B- I, not that I worked. I was there while yeah. they were there. Right. And I know that was all Bonham and Murray. Just so Seacrest C- didn't at the time have the infrastructure to, to produce anything. a show like that at the time. Got it. Then they got you know good funding from um, NBC and not NBC from E. And so he started a production company. And uh, it was going for a little bit. And then they sold a piece of paper to Bravo that said, you know, this is right when Jersey Shore was going on. And like, so it was like, mm-hmm. you know, it was I remember uh, you, cultures, you know, groups of friends and cultures of groups of friends. There was another like podcast Italians. that you the were Italians. On. That's what, yeah. Right. There was another podcast you were on. You were, that you were exceptional. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, was, <laughs> I, I hope I live real, up to it on this. It was a real interesting yeah, listen. Um, but you had made reference to the point of that, that the Jersey Shore was going on. VH1 had just did something Russian dolls. Yeah, they were Russian dolls. Yeah, you know, so they were. It was the time because all TV is is trends. Yeah, it's like who is doing what, what works at that moment, what can we do more of? Copycat. And then it gets played out, and then someone has to break the the dime. You know, someone has to break something new, the paradigm, and bring out something new, and then people copy that. That's the way they've always said it. That that's it's just, just copycat people. But I know. think that's art. You know, that's yeah. music, that's art, that's magazines, mm-hmm. that's fashion, that's mm-hmm. just how the world works. That's how we work, you that's know? Just, I never looked at it like that, but you're, you're right in a lot of ways. Like, the, you know, when music gets popular... You, you copy what that, the sound is, yeah. and then it gets played out. Yeah. You know, you can go down the line. How many Absolutely. things over the years... Absolutely. I mean, if you want to talk music, we can go into, you know, we can go yeah. deep. We can go deep. <laughs> genre. <laughs> genre. But it's the yeah. new genre. So, <laughs> so they, so they, get pro- so they had a piece of paper called okay. the one sheet and it's one sheet was just Persians in Los Angeles. Okay. And a good friend of mine, um, over there was, uh, running production and hit me up. It's like, do you want to come help us put this together? And I was like, they're like, do you know any Persians? And I just look at my phone. I just like scroll my <laughs> Rolodex on my phone. Like I'm not Persian. Yeah. You know, I'm a Queens boy, a Absolutely. Jewish Queens boy. Yes. Um, I moved to Los Angeles from Florida, you know, and I just, when I moved here, I met a group, an amazing group of Persians, Sammy being the linchpin. Mm-hmm. And um, 
there i was like of course i know yeah let's go try to do this and then like the first day or the first person i called was sammy and the second person that you know <laughs> called was mj and like mj we're just like the first person and we're like no way not mj because like there's got to be it can't be this easy <laughs> yeah, yeah. It can't be, it's yeah. not just mj you know yeah and then like they're like okay go spend six months finding people and for six months i went in the entire persian community of los angeles using every contact every leverage everything i can do what was nice about the time is because i was working for ryan seacrest you know it's oh, like it gives you name recognition. Get, that helps 100%. especially that opened the door 100%. in the persian community because it was so difficult to to get the door open because it's a very protected community in yeah. a way they don't want to showy yes but also don't want to put it out there in a way you know and yeah. the kardashians are in persian but they're close in the extent that they are an ethnic family on yeah. television they're and they're yeah. can and they're associated with ryan seacrest RSP. yes that's what i'm saying yeah, so for, yeah. that's for saying. jesse to be it, saying i had credibility yes. walking in the door yeah yes. and that that's very helpful 100%. for anything you do you know 100%. um and so i went out and I mean, I can't tell you the amount of Persian Shabbats I went to. Now, and just like, you? <laughs> like just it, me. Just you. Just me and a camera. Just wow. me. Oh, just yeah. me. Just you and a camera. That, this portion was just me, yeah. Okay, doing what? Like you really were showing up with I went met with people. I went met with people. And okay. there was no budget. There was no, it wasn't like they gave us like a, a couple of thousand dollars and that was it. Like there was not like go shoot with a camera crew and it's like, yeah, yeah, just yeah. go spend some time and like go <laughs> yeah. come back. And like I could shoot, I can edit. And so like I went and okay. shot. I went and met as many as I can, put as many people on tape as I could, brought it back, showed people. And then I were like, this is the cast. I know this is the cast, um, which was I met all different families. Older, I've met full. I met not, you know, people with families, people who were single, you know, I met their parents, I met every, you know, all yes. that. And I met MJ and then MJ introduced me to Reza. And then I was like, you know, got it. MJ so, and Reza, the combination was really good. Yeah, you so know, everybody kind of fell into the fold. Once, um, once you had the first couple. Yeah, exactly. Then it's like, how do you pair that? Right. Then you pair with that first couple, the yes. anchors. Got it. You know, like if, if MJ was MJ, but like, was married had three kids like that's a different group of people to put together 100%. than the others that are part of the show you know 100%. what i'm saying like you have to match the demo of what you know that's a great way of putting it because you could just as easily had uh you know a housewives edition of uh, yeah. Shaz, if that's the road you went yeah. down, like yeah. crazy married bitches. Yeah, like yeah. You could have was on there. Or that. Yeah, we could have. We could have gone down that way, but um, the anchors weren't the anchors. The anchors weren't there, and like I believe, I guess you know, energy and attraction attracts attraction in a way, and like you know, the stuff that I was kind of into was like a bit more younger, partier, like you Very know, true. fun stuff, and that was like kind of where I gravitated in a way, you, you know, the Hudson with her. Yeah. You know, you know what, what I'm mean? saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, so. so like that was just the, I guess the energy that we brought, you know, that we brought was like, that was kind of the look and the feel that excited yeah. me to be honest, more than I could relate more. How about that? I could relate more to where MJ was in her life Definitely. and the rest of the team where they were in the life compared to like the housewives with their kids and their parents and all that stuff. Like I could have, but that's, this is who I related to. Right. And she has that it factor. She has that, like she always, she already was on pick for one of those other shows on, yeah. what was it? On there MTV. was a, a show called Really Rich Real Estate on VH1. Mm, yeah. <laughs> nice. I like that. Really <laughs> rich. Nice alliteration. No, it but was. she has it that, that it. You know, she's a good, I live with her, bro. She's like watching a cartoon character. Yeah. You know? so I mean, like, who doesn't? Yeah. 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 It's, so it's fun. That. And that's why we've, you know, we've been friends. It's yes. like, yeah. So it's, always it's entertaining. It's, it's, it's always, fun. It's always an adventure. Yeah. yeah. So at this time, I'm walking Pablo and Julio down the street. And my phone rings and Jesse says to me, <clears throat> would you be interested in like doing a reality show? I mean, 